creepy. You hear a lot of noises, and it's quite scary, but it's moving. So, let's go! What is up, everyone? I hope you all are having a great day. I am right now in my basement in the movie theater. We are painting it and making it super awesome. I got Kylo Ren over here. So, that is where I'm at right now. The shift linkage decided to break on me. So over there's a little U-joint. So I had to go buy a $5 part. We got that fixed. It's all good to go. It's shifting great now. The second thing, we got all the transmission fluid in, oil, coolant, all of that was in. We did come to a problem that you will see later in this video with the cooling system. But um, that will all be for next video. This video, uh, we're going to start cleaning and uh, you guys just saw we just took, or I took the uh, van for its first test drive. At the end of this video though, we did take it for a hour long drive. We went airsofting for the weekend. So, you know, Saturdays are for the boys. An hour and 15 minutes away-ish. Um, but we actually stopped at a Cars and Coffee on the way, uh, which was super cool. Um, but yeah, so we took that for an hour and a half, to, or hour and 15 minute drive, no problems. Uh, coming back though, you'll see. So, uh, stay tuned for all that guys. I hope you enjoy this video. We did get some stuff at the store. So, we picked up one of these bad boys uh, that will go onto our shop vac. And then, picked up some of this carbon upholstery cleaner. So, this is how bad the seats are right now. how bad the seats are so what we're gonna do we're going to start with some of this upholstery cleaner uh, and we're gonna try and scrub as best we can spray some of this on do that for like 15 minutes really letting it soak in then we'll hit it with the shop back and try and suck all that dirt out so uh, let's get to it So we've been going for a little bit. It's still slightly damp though, but um, it's a lot easier to see how much cleaner it is. And there's your mark. So you can clearly tell that that looks way nicer. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll continue on with the other side. But uh, this shit, it works. I like it a lot. Also we popped the top very nice yep. spacious in here um but now i'm getting a phone call so yeah um this stuff's super awesome it's working uh, we're gonna continue on in this and then we'll do the front seats and uh yeah we'll go from there
everyone, it's uh, like 8 a.m. right now. We have been driving for the last 40 minutes. Uh, the Westie is doing amazing. So it's holding its gas, it's not overheating. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, we're, we got, you can tell where that bright light is. Uh, the roof has a big old hole, so that makes it cold. But other than that, Westie's doing awesome. Let's go! Uh, I still haven't figured out that cooling issue. So we made it an hour. We made an hour drive going down without any problems. And now uh, this is our second time on the road. So wish us luck and hopefully we make it home. Oh, we made it. So um, hopefully that's a good sign. Coolant still is not flowing through the uh, car though. So not entirely sure what's wrong with it, but we made it home. I mean, it was flashing. Uh, that was overheating at us the entire time. So I don't know what's wrong, but I'll figure it out a different day. Well guys, that is, uh, that's it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Not sure what it is yet, um, but to get the Westie running and we took it on a hour trip. So, I mean, can't get better than that. We were cruising at 70 miles per hour. Um, we actually passed some cars and we passed a train. So if we can pass the train, then, uh, I think that means that we have successfully made this van awesome. So yeah, um, go ahead, watch that last video guys uh, right here. Uh, we put the engine in um, and then yeah, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. See y'all next time.